Hi guys, welcome to Maharashtra Law City Five Years Another Podcast. And today we have Aditya Rajoria from West Bengal. Origin jo hai wo Rajasthan ka hai, but uh, now he is a part of. Uh, since long he completed his education from West Bengal only. So Bengali bhi aati hai, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So first of all, Aditya, once again, congratulations for one twenty two. Thank you, sir. So. MH Law CET, you hit one twenty two out of one fifty. So, how's the feeling after getting this much of score? And how was your parents' expression? Yes, the feeling is really very great, great sir. Uh, parents should be happy after the allotment. Obviously, all the, all of them are happy. Okay, okay. So, as you mentioned that from science, you you were I mean from science background, right? You switch uh, you have switched your field into the law field. So, how this Idea came into the picture. Actually, I thought law was interesting. It was fascinating for me, uh, but I did not think of it as a career for myself. But okay. the pandemic gave me enough time to decide, and then I thought, yes, this is something which I like, and I should pursue that. So this is how it came. How difficult it was to choose your or switch your domain. Actually, I would say it was not difficult because it suited my personality. Also, I was into reading newspapers since uh, means years now. so english was not a problem gk was not a problem and maths and logical were actually more or less simple for me because of science background the only thing was uh, with legal aptitude and some static gk so it was not very difficult but yes i just um, checked the chart topics and then i did it okay so apart from mscet as you mentioned you have written the clat exam but didn't turn up so uh, no sir actually I- sir i had uh, faced a problem with time actually I was okay. not used to solving at such a great speed, so okay. I could not solve fifteen questions something. So that matters a lot. Okay, okay. So if you consider all the section like maths, logic, English, GK, legal, so which section you found very difficult one, and how you have work on it? Um, static GK was difficult, and also legal reasoning because I was new to that field. So actually, I. Prepared for CLAT and I just checked the topics and the concepts which are usually asked. So I studied them, and we cannot do much about static GK. So yeah, whatever was possible, I did. Okay. So being an outside Maharashtra student, how I mean, uh, when it's come to the selection part, you need to hit good score. So when you were preparing this, came in your mind, okay, I have to hit good score, otherwise I won't get any seat. So in terms of the competition. What was your mindset? Um, like I was prepared to that I would go to GLC or ILS. There was no other option college for me there, so I prepared accordingly, and then it happened. Okay, okay. And uh, what? How was your mock test experience? It was good, sir. I learned a lot because it was new, so I learned a lot, and then it improved gradually, and then it's good. Okay. So, if you compare your mock test with the real exam, how different it was? Uh, the main problem with the mocks was timing, but the real examination was bit on a easier side, so the timing was not a problem there. I had thirty minutes left after completing the paper, okay, so yes, okay. the mock became easier for me then because the final exam was easy because the mocks helped me gain speed. Mocks are always tougher than the actual exam. Yes, sir. So, what do you think? Have you done any kind of a mistake in the actual exam which one should not do? Those who are watching this podcast, um, static GK. I think I missed uh, five or six of them, and it hurts actually. After coming back home, I thought yes, I knew the answer. It could have been that, but yes, and also getting a bit anxious, so you make uh, some mistakes. Oh, when you are exam ke time, pe you get <laughs> nervous, you get uh, demotivated. How when? But when you start. Five to ten minutes, and uh, all the question. If you are hitting right answer, the confident automatically get boosted. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. So, what last question? What tips or the session you want to give to upcoming year aspirant or targeting for CET two thousand twenty two twenty three twenty four? I think they should start with English and GK as early as possible. So I think paper reading would help them because that covers two sections and two big sections. so yeah and if you see the concepts more or less and you practice give mock tests that is what you need to do right okay so english and gk is something which is uh, in gradually 
one improve if they are weak in English. And yes. likewise, GK is a bit, is a vast section. Static is there, current affairs is there. So no one can say, okay, I have done with my GK preparation. So because it, because it is so vast and you'll never be sure, okay, whatever you have read, you will get the questions from the same area. Yes. Correct. And definitely, uh, one should have a complete knowledge about the syllabus part. Writing the mock is important. So this is what I'm summarizing overall podcast so that we were, should understand how they should prepare. So this is what guys all about the, uh, from Aditya side. So those who are watching this podcast, try to implement the same, which he has done so that we can hit good score in the exam and, uh, end up with our top dream colleges, either GLC or the ILS people target for Okay. So that's all in this podcast, guys. Uh, same kind of a podcast will podcast will keep and keep coming up. So be connected with the channel. And uh, Adita, once again, thank you for coming and sharing your experience. Thank and you, uh, all the best for your career. Thank you.